SmackDown tonight, and SmackDown kicked off with the authority of Seth Rollins, Joey Mercury, and Kane coming out. As they talked about it happened Monday, but unfortunately, Jamie Noble could not make it because Jamie Noble was injured and has three broken ribs from Brock Lesnar almost killing him in the barricade. And they said this, you know, they're dedicating this show to him. And I guess also tonight, um, commentary, if you want to add. I guess for, uh, since Byron Saxon's out for some reason, since, since Jimmy Uso has nothing to do with Tip Simmons gear and wait around, he can just, you know, he's going to be on commentary now. That they've said through the whole summer. So get ready to enjoy Jimmy Uso on commentary. I guess he has nothing else to do. Um, when you talk about the Suplex City, but Suplex City is going to burn. And that, you know, he made the shield and the story of the shield. That's why he's the world heavyweight champion and everything. And he lit a fire under everybody he says and blew smoke up and everything and stuff. So. Kane also talked about what happened, and they also spoke once again on Noble's injury, and they said Seth said he was the champion, nobody could stop him, and pretty much Kane taught, and talked about how he took out Dean Ambrose, and he dressed the picture of that fully right back of, of whatever, uh, sorry, I was paying attention to something, but, uh, Kane, Kane, uh, sorry, I lost the trade. So Kane said he was going to take on Ryback tonight, and Ryback came out and called Seth Rollins an overprotected child, that he was nothing that he could take out Kane if he wanted to, at any time of Take out Seth Rollins and everybody in the ring as much as he wanted to, so yeah. So he called him a sellout and everything, but it was still going to be Kane versus him and show, and pretty much. You know, I'm going to fight tonight, and he said, you know, the second one's wrong. Once again, Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose for the 50th time tonight. So that was going to go down. Ziggler went against Sheamus. Um, I am not watching the show, but um, Ziggler went against Sheamus tonight. Rusev came out trying to get Lana back, but it didn't work. The match was pretty much good. Sheamus went with the bro kick as Lana checked him after they went to that Rusev hitting him. Um, Rusev was just beating up everything, so says, you like Lana, and hollering and everything from him and stuff, and then, for some reason, Summer Rae comes up saying, you're not, she's not worth it and everything, so, yeah. Uh, also, they showed tonight, um, another match, which probably nobody really cared about, was Naomi versus Alicia Fox. I guess Jimmy so was out there saying, hey, suck career, and I'm supportive of whatever she does, so, yeah. I don't know why. That this whole Bella versus whoever in this company at this point is like whatever, so I, I don't really care for what is going on with this. So, uh, so yeah, I'm not really a fan of really what this whole Bella's versus Paige, Naomi, Tamina, whoever they're going against. I don't really care for what that beat this match was, so it was like whatever. Um, they did video packages for Kevin Owens and Cena. The Big E was in the back being a preacher and everything again as the primetime players showed up saying that only two of you can fight. So you all are not going to fight this Sunday. And Bo Dallas came up so I'm going to help you guys tonight. And all you're going to do is believe in everything. Right back came out but got killed by Big Show, which was a DQ. Some people this thing sucks. So why is Kane and Big Show beating out a lot of right back? But. Big Show couldn't stay away that long, so he was back again, so, so, yeah, I definitely said Big Show was going to be gone tonight, but Big Show came out and just killed Ryback, whatever, Lucha Dragons and the Prime Time Players were against Bo Dallas and New Day, good eight-man tag, I'll say that, Lucha Dragons and them picking up the win, really good for the Dragons, though, I'll say that, taking them out, um, Reigns is talking to Ambrose in the back, talking to him to take out, you know, Bray Wyatt getting a Cincinnati beat down, but Reigns is just bigger, so just be careful and everything, and, you know, they said they had each other's back and stuff, and Reigns was getting ready to go out there looking for Bray Wyatt, Kane told him that you tossed around con con staff and everything, so now you're gonna, um, they pretty much kicked him out the building, security tried to grab him, but he left. Ambrose went against Rollins then, pretty much same old, same old with these two. I've seen this match so many times, I don't know what to think about it at this point. But, um, 
whatever, Rollins, Rollins, Ambrose, I've seen this match many times, Rollins with the pedigree, she looks very weak for some reason, but that's my view of SmackDown, there wasn't a lot of stuff to be honest, nothing crazy was going on, SmackDown is just SmackDown, yeah, I really should get my thoughts about that tough enough thing, which I'm probably not going to watch again after what I saw last Tuesday and how everybody took it. it's been the lowest rating and stuff, I'm sure nobody would care also. I would save my thoughts on Tough Enough for another video, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna see you guys later. Once again, you know, it's me, it's me, it's your belief in the news, usually, and what I do going down with Undisputed Smackdown.